Okay. <laughs> What's your antenna? I have, don't do that. <laughs> I haven't flown for ages. I think the last time I flew was in Wilson's Prom. This is FPV. So I have no idea how this is gonna go. Um, I should really have L plates on this, but we'll see um, how we do. Go pros enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good luck. Well, she's flying okay. Yeah, she's flying really well. Tell me if you can see the sheeps. Uh, am I going to be anywhere near the sheeps? Am I going to bother anyone? Ah, uh, well, you're well and truly over the top of them, but well clear of them. Like I, I think the key is just don't go low over them. Okay. But you should be, you should see. Well, Andrew said that it's you can go up to so them I'm as heading, long as you don't go right okay, up like come back. next to them. So you would be. I'm right. having a little bit of play here at the moment, and I'm right over the road. Can you yeah, see I the, the play button. Uh, I can't know. That's probably because you're facing okay, on? up. So. Trying to get this adjustment right, that's all. Yep. Okay, sweet. RTH is on, just making sure that's working. Yes, it is. Well, it seems to be working all right. It's going great, Gun. You can see him just down there. Oh, he's got him in there. Okay, cool. Yeah, I was worried he's, he's going to bring him all the way up here. He's coming back now, I think. Is that him? I think it might be him. Oh, yeah, because he'll get his sign. Do you know what I forgot? What? My GoPro's not recording. Bring, bring it back. <laughs> Bring it in and we'll, we'll launch yeah, it again. We'll go again. What a douchebag. Take two will happen soon. Take two. Take two. Okay, look, I, I haven't done much in the way of FPV flying, really. Thomas has been the expert in that department, haven't you? Yes, especially since we've got the Horizon. Oh, on your text, you mate, that's just ready to go all the time. You've been flying before school too, which is kind of insane. As far as uh, what we did with this video, we um, this is basically a quick 1.5k flight. We also tried some formation flying towards the end and that didn't go too well. But I think we've ironed out the bugs and we should do a lot better next time. And also as far as up and coming videos uh, that we've got planned, we've got, we've got some video footage from Jason's uh, Zeta FX61 Phantom. So we'll get that up and happening. I've also got, going to be doing a rundown on my uh, Phantom. I've also, I also have one too now, uh, including the setup for the GoPro, etc. We've also got a video coming up on, well, we're going to have to do on the Storm OSD, especially set up for a wing. That's kind of a little bit tricky. And we're also working on a quad build. Yes, you've been working a lot on that. Yes, I have. And also, obviously, the my new wing design, but we'll get that all happening soon. Keep it on this side. She got buffered and she. Yeah. yeah wind just picked up a little bit. But I think it might be on and off. So, this is the first time I'm actually flying with um, helical and a patch. Whoa! The tower's really getting blown around. It's amazing. It must be at least 500 metres away. Um, 700 metres. Okay. I can't even see it because I didn't look at it. I just barely can see it. Uh, altitude. Doesn't look right. I think my altitude is wrong. It's only so right. Yeah. Let's go. Awesome. That's awesome shot. Now, yeah, around the 1k part, I was getting um, some multi pathing before. There's there's something out there at about the 1.5k mark. Not much at all at the moment with this antenna with the yep. helical, so it's looking good. So we're at 1.2k's and the signal really really good what's your battery line uh battery is 10.8 crap i wouldn't bet you too far because you're gonna uh, have your work um yeah yeah i'm gonna carry it back i think how far did you go 1.5 k's no dramas that's pretty good uh, 1.5 you said back again yeah so we hit it back again okay i can see where we are Good. Mate, yes. ground speed. Grand speed is 40 kilometers an hour. That's not bad. So we're moving along nicely. Yeah. I've got 10.9, so um, I've just cut the throttle back a bit. Yeah. It's not doing too bad. It's yeah. just, it would have been nice to have a bit more... Um, yeah, well, I'm, I'm, I'm heading into the wind now, aren't I? Yeah, you are. Okay, sweet. It's just funny because you don't know which way the wind's going when you've got these goggles on. I've got no idea which way I'm facing. I'm obviously facing You're the You're facing car. south, so you should feel the wind on your back. Yeah. You know what would be awesome? That thing on the nose that they have in the gliders? That tells you um, if you're 
um, aircraft's tail is actually in a very bad point of view, where you should put it back. Okay, I don't know. I've not seen that. Yeah, it's a little string on the front of the cockpit. So how far away are you? Uh, 900 metres of cut throttle back heaps. Basically, it helps show wind direction and where your, face, where your tail's facing. So you can get better lift and okay. stuff. There's the sheep. Sheep are down there, probably can't see it with the GoPro. I'm um, um, 800 metres away. But they're there. Okay, I'm looking, I'm looking. What's your voltage like? Uh, it's really up now because I've cut throttle back. It's about 1. Uh, 11 occasionally. We should be fine for a bit. Maybe it was just you giving it a lot of gas. No, I think so. I've cut the throttle right off. That's why it's up high. Yep. So I've also, got no throttle on. You've got another problem too. When you were doing the um, testing to get the GPS thing to work. Can you see the aircraft yet? No. How far right, is it? 500 metres away. I've got the nose pointed okay, right down. Okay, I should down. be able to see it. Uh, I mean, I need the goggles. Oh, okay. Tell me I'm at 200 metres. I don't think I'm 200 metres. I need the goggles. So I'm heading like straight that. for us. Yep. I should be in line to the, on the road, very close to us, not very far out. Virtually parallel to the uh, ground station and the road. You should see it by now. 200 metres away. Oh, yeah. Found it. Yeah. Right there. Okay, I'm going to go behind myself. Are you going to be ready to take the radio out in case? I... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should be fine. I'm not my, ready. My blue just a little bit. Remember, pass it to the so left. Right over the top of us. Keep going. Keep heading north. I was going to go to bring it down and check batteries. Okay, I was just going to see if you wanted to test the, you know, like uh, even a couple hundred metres past it. We had trouble getting GPS fixed, so we um, played around a little bit trying to get that right. But look, um, it wasn't too bad at all. We might try for a longer flight and put a new battery on there and see how far we shoot at this time. Um, but no, so far so good, so we'll go again. Yeah. Working back and forth until we can sort of get... I reckon we don't go beyond two kilometres, keep it close. Yeah. And basically when we come over here, the turning point's going to be... Over the top of us. Over, when you're within 15 metres or 100 yep. metres, we start turning back again, do you know yep, what I mean? Yep, and we'll just track like that until we can get over yeah. each other. I think we're pretty safe and um, for 2Ks easily, so... Okay, yep. so south, north? Yep. Okay then, south. Yep. Okay then, so south is the normal direction we go in. Yep. And that's what we're going to aim for. Yep. Well, Jason was just talking about flying together and he's gonna, we're going to try and engage each other and I'm hoping he doesn't press the fire button and actually shoot my aircraft down. So, um, this is what Jason's going to be flying. It's his uh, compliments of Hobby King. Mm. Yeah, um, just a note. Hobby King, one of the best suppliers on the face of this earth. You can trust them. Great support. <laughs> um, amazing. Amazing. Freight times. Freight time is amazing oh. and they're, they're, they're help desk. I mean, you just, you talk to the person and you know you're going to get 100% correct information every time. If you don't notice the sarcasm. <laughs> but anyway, look, the aircraft is actually good and the price is actually pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Look, yeah. it's good. I, I, I hope to do a video by the end of the week on a full rundown of it. Yeah. Um, but so, yeah. So what we will do at the um, in this video is uh, we'll actually put a link in the description. Um, in his video, his uh, whatever your documentation is or yep. whatever yep. article he Absolutely. does or whatever video um, he does on it, that'll be up there too. So we'll link that back in the description. So have a look in the description. If it's not up there straight away, it means he hasn't done his job. <laughs> but if he has, it'll be there. You know what I mean? <laughs> this or, is a Hobby King promise. <laughs> Hobby King? Oh, God. <laughs> Don't count on it then. <laughs> Don't look in the description, eh? It ain't going to happen. Um, so we're going to fly together, aren't we? Yep, yeah, absolutely. Um, you're probably going to need to fly a bit faster than usual because no. I know me trying to keep up with you with the Tech Sumo yeah. is hard because your cruise speed is slower what than, is your cruise than speed? my stall speed. Well, it depends if there's a nice gale force breeze behind me, I can do 80, <laughs> 90 kilometers an hour. What's your usual cruise speed? Okay, 30 to 50, I reckon. That's pretty similar to this. It's okay. Because with my Tech Sumo, okay. it's all the gear and no idea. Because my Tech Sumo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, my Tech Sumo. My stall speed is still faster than Dad's cruise speed. True, true. Probably because the wing area is also small. This is a lot bigger wing area. Let's make this happen. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. This is going 
gonna be fun. Although I wish I was taking part. But my one's out of power. No kids, well we can't have Thomas doing it because he's gonna make us look bad, you know that, don't you? <laughs> I'm well, recording! Look like the ones that, you know, the adults that actually know what they're doing. <laughs> I'm putting this up on my channel. <laughs> Um, I'm not putting that in ages. My ground station happening and my ground station is happening. I'm going to start recording. HD camera happening. About to start happening. Okay. All right. So I'll get myself up. Yeah, go for it. And I'll join you shortly. This is going to be awesome. Oh wow, it goes up well. Got a video of his launch, Tom? Yeah. Because I didn't even see how he launched it. Do, doesn't seem like it, look like it needs much power to get up. Must be the big surface area. Looks nice. Well, it's a nice big aircraft. I reckon I'm going to be able to see that. Well, that's what I'm hoping. It's just that's white. Mine did is white on green and white on blue. Yeah, it's just that he's going way off course. Now it's turning back onto the road. So you're heading south Paul? Uh, about to. I'm just sort of getting my goggles ready at the moment. Sorry about this. Okay, I am heading out. I'm 500 metres away. Okay. Altitude of 100. At what altitude? 100. And I'm 600 metres away. 